this is DC Channel Guns. Like and subscribe. Thank you for watching. What up? This is Dish Channel Guns coming at you another gun video. Appreciate you watching, like, sharing, and subscribe. I want to appreciate all my subscribers. I want to appreciate all the good information. I appreciate y'all for coming to the video. Appreciate all the support and love over here from the 2A community. Appreciate everybody, everything that y'all are doing. To, um, the number one goal over here is to uphold the Constitution, defend the Second Amendment. With that said, um, it's going to take all us, all the citizens, it's going to take all gun owners to uphold that and make sure that we preserve the 2A for the future generations. So that is the goal over here. And also hit me up on um, Gun Streamer. They partnered up with Gun Credit and everything. We're going to keep that movement going so we can have another place to um, defend the Second Amendment. So uh, with that said, um, right now, people, we're in, un, uh, we're, we're in a time now that, you know, we don't know what's going to happen. Uh, it's a lot of predictable things that can happen, um, especially when it's coming up to November and everything. We got an election. This is huge. Um, to my, this is all about your um, Second Amendment and stuff. I'm talking about with all the confusion stuff out there. And we has been, as gun owners, has been exposed to some things that we haven't seen in a long time. We had different situations when it comes to farm sales and ammo sales and stuff pretty much out of stock with a lot of your websites, uh, manufacturers and stuff, dealing with this virus, this pandemic and stuff. So we don't know what's going to happen. And right now, this year, the election um, is, is going to be totally different than any other election because there's a virus and stuff like that. So we don't know what's going to happen. And so right now, um, you need to be out um, buying some things before the election. And, you know, I'm going to go over some of the items that you need to get and stuff because, you know, like I said, you want to have a whole bunch of things that, you know, you never know what's going to happen, you know, where it, it get gone. And I'm talking about right now when it comes to... Um, background checks and stuff the ammo sales and farm sales it keep going up people it's not going down it keep going higher and higher and we don't know how far this can go and we got a a, a little a, long, a little while before the election but when it comes to two-way sales and stuff in this country sales is just going through the roof background checks is going through the roof so um you, you know we don't know what's gonna let down so i'm gonna go over a few items and everything so um you know you can get prepared now, um, just like any other election, a lot of the items are going to go quick. Some of them are already gone. Some of them are hard to get. You might still have a chance to get a few things. Now, first one that we're going to go over, um, firearms. You know, everybody's out buying farms and stuff right now. So this is something that <laughs> uh, to my, a lot of first-time buyers and stuff going after and stuff and, and buying farms. And many express that they don't even have the ammo to go out and shoot it. So farms, um, rifles shotguns and stuff like that that is going to be something that's going to really be flying off the shelves as we get closer to election i think it's still a lot of people on the fence just like the background sales i know we broke 3.9 million background checks in june therefore um the previous month um i think it was like uh may we did like uh somewhere like 3.7 a million background checks that you know the the next background check so uh, to my we we still pretty much spiking people still spikers a lot of people still out there and you have first-time buyers are going for they born to buy their second gun as far as a lot of reports that i had um, read so we went over to we're gonna get farms and stuff like that um one thing you need to get magazines people you need to get magazines this is a bag of magazine that i've been stockpiling and stuff you need to you need to stockpile a lot of magazines um, to my, these buying a, a lot of magazines I see different places on sale, I get some. So I've been stockpiling my magazines, um, you know, your AR mags, um, you need to, you need to get plenty of those, um, rifle mags or whatever caliber that you have, get plenty of those and everything. You need to be stockpiling on that. Um, right now, um, uh, magazines in my area and stuff, shelves are empty, haven't been refilled, academies have, haven't been refilled, they come in in dribs and drabs and stuff like that. Certain mags, such as P mags and stuff, pretty much clean the clean the shelves and stuff. There are alternative mags and stuff out there, but I, you know, I mainly like to go after P mags and some of the um, and plus Palmetto State got some good mags and stuff. So check them; they got some um, awesome mags. Check Palmetto State, and they got some mags and get some good deals on that. So be checking that. Um, another thing, people, uh, when it comes to your know, AR lowers and stuff like that, um, it's a couple gun shops I've been to that. I haven't seen them in a while. People was buying strip lures and stuff. They're buying them up. 
Um, we know when it comes to strip lords and stuff, people, um, you know, rack up on those and stuff because that considered the farm and stuff like that. So get you some strip lords and stuff for your ARs. If you're trying to build one as a first time buyer or whatever, go and get you a strip lord and, and try to get the parts um, that you need and stuff. Uh, if you're looking for some parts, try eBay. Um, you'll try a lot of your uh, online sites and look for that, but eBay have some parts. So try eBay and stuff to get your parts in there, gun shows and stuff like that. You know, when it comes to building your AR, you can buy parts from everywhere. That is the amazing thing about that. So uh, be doing that. Um, ammunition. Um, you know, when it comes to ammunition, that is the um, butter, the heart and soul of any farm. Ammunition. So we know the ammunition crisis is through the roof right now. Um, very hard to find. Um, very limited in a lot of places and stuff. Um, some that is pretty, pretty much is available. I'm quite sure you have people flocking over wherever they at to get it and stuff, taking these long drives. I know people who taking long drives to get ammunition and stuff like that. So, you know, um, right before election, people, a lot of these things pretty much are going to blow out. It's going to be gone. So, um, you know, we need to start getting these things now. Um, if you ain't already got them, I'm talking about, I don't know what you're waiting on. I don't know what you're thinking. If you ain't, but you have to, be, you have to be going out and getting these things now. Cause I think as we get closer to the election and depend on what rhetoric is in the air, what event is going on, it can get worse for people. Um, a lot of people expecting to get worse. I'm expecting to pretty much get worse. Cause we have, um, like I said, uh, background checks. Uh, like I said, I didn't think that we was going to top this 3.7 million of May and turn around reports now saying, hey, we have done 3.9 million in pretty much June. Now, we in July right now. So I don't know how further down the road and how much more background checks can be done. So to my, um, like I said, I, I, I wouldn't be surprised if we top this 3.9 million and going into the 4 million of background checks. Like I said, when it comes to background checks, people, a lot of people are pretty much um, in is, is fear or something's gone or not going to be able to get in and stuff. So you have a lot of people still out there, um, you know, trying to um, protect themselves and their family and stuff like that. Because you see the headlines in the news, people. People are going crazy. I'm talking about doing some weird stuff. And, you know, you need to protect yourself. Um, you know, you having a lot of emergency first responders across the country, very busy, busy than ever, responding to all kinds of calls now on top of calls that is normal that they always get. So, you know, like I said, people, your protection is the number one right now. So um, go and get the items and everything. So this is DC Channel Guns, and I'll catch you on the next one. This is DC Channel Guns. Like and subscribe. Thank you for watching.